Now Ski has it. Top of the left wing circle. Down low. Centering feet in front. Puck is loose. They score. On the power play, it'll be Eric Rivard as Sue has taken the lead on the power play with 6.52 left to go in period number one, and they have a 1 0 lead. On two. Ice Ray's trying to get back quickly. Berkeley trying to get back. Salinas a shot. The big rebound in front, but they score on the rebound. Jake Dow or Jace Dowski picked up the rebound in front, backhanded it top shelf, and it's a two to nothing lead. Trying to keep it inside the zone. Good job by the Ice Race defense. Puck still loose in front, back door. They score. It's Ian McGilvery on the power play on a great feed from the right wing side of the ice with 17 to go on the power play and 16.51 left in regulation. The ice rays have struck and they split the lead in half. It's two to one. Over to the left wing side, 11.54 left to go. Period number three. Bad giveaway, Teleska down low for Brandon Smith. To Teleska shooting, he scores! Tommy Teleska from Brandon Smith with 11.48 left to go in period number three. The Ice Rays have come back to tie the game at two. They bring it in. Grabowski left wing circle. Looking for Berkeley. Finds him. Berkeley to Solmonte. He scores! Rudy Solmonte on a beautiful backdoor feed from Brandon Berkeley, and the Ice Rays have now taken a 3-2 lead with 11.07 left to go in period three. Loose puck in front, a shot, safe Salinas, they score! Trying to see who it was, I believe it was the captain for the Sioux Eagles with the goal, and indeed it was Jared Van Wormer, and we are tied at three with 4.08 left to go in regulation. 4.26 left to go. Now Ginley with it. Joe Ginley out to the point for Perry DeRisso. DeRisso, snapper, he scores! Perry DeRisso, the overtime hero in game number one, the ice raise. Just 40 seconds into overtime have defeated the Sioux Eagles by a final score of four to three.